All right, good morning, everybody. What is up? Today, I actually purchased a 5x5 storage unit, and we're here today, and I'm going to pick up the contents. I just showed up, and I'm about to open it up for the first time and show you guys everything inside. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That thing is... Ooh. Dust factory in there. So honestly, I have no idea what's inside these boxes. This is beautiful. It would be sarcastic, but the quality of these. Action figures, still in the packaging. Wow. Wow. No, he did it. Freaking gold. This is gold. This is gold. We're in the money. Wow! No. Look at this gold! Yo, look Wait, at this! What? Look at this gold! No gold. way! No! Same. Look at this! Look oh at this. Oh my gosh. Gold Final Fantasy? We gotta get No. It. No. <laughs> no. We just scored. Score. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we doing now? Okay. So <laughs> I drink bone broth in the morning. Just like a little cup of it. Finfin likes it. So I give her like a tiny bit. Oh, she loves it. She loves it. It's mushroom and chicken bone broth by fire and kettle. She's the cutest. She loves it. Oh, Finn. oh. Finn, Finn. She wants more. Get her another sip. It's her. Come on. Don't be flying. She already had a bot. See, I'm about to just cut her up some bananas, though, because this is my soup. Looks like it's hers now. Looks like it's her soup now. I want to say two years. So he paid for a decent amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. We get that a lot. Some people, um, we had one yesterday. They were here for like 10 years. 10 and years. And yeah. then they let it go. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, when you think about the money wasted. That's oh what I'm God. saying. Might as well not have even done it at that point. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a lot of situations. A lot of times people but, get these thinking it's only going to be for a short while. Yeah. And then they just never get it out. Yeah. And with inflation and everything else, you know. Yeah. I and got you. The one um, that was here for 10 years, she also lost another. And it was a um, 10 by 20 unit. Two of them. She lost another one like maybe three weeks ago. That's so crazy. So yeah, we get a lot of people that have like two and three units. Yeah. And yeah. All right, cool. All right. Thank you. All right, good morning, everybody. What is up? Today, I actually purchased, well, I should say yesterday, I purchased a 5x5 storage unit on an online auction, and we're here today, and I'm going to pick up the contents. So last week, I went to some pallet auctions, did pretty well, made some money. So I figured, let's just keep the ball rolling and roll that money into some more uh, storage. So here we are. I just showed up and I'm about to open it up for the first time and show you guys everything inside. So it's it's a lot of boxes. Couldn't really make out any one single item. So what I might do today is load up the truck, just throw all the boxes in there, head back home and start unloading them and seeing what's inside. But I will give a little peek of what it is just so I can see what I'm working with because it could be good 
and it could be real bad. So let's see. Without taking up too much time, let's just get right into this. Ah. That thing is, ooh, dust factory in there. All right, first look at the contents. Random boxes. So honestly, I have no idea what's inside these boxes. This is why I wanted to buy this unit over the other one, because you could kind of see what was in the other one. I felt like the one with all the boxes was more of a surprise, and therefore it would be better for the viewers to kind of have a mystery. So let's get into this. I might just open like a few of the boxes and then just load the rest on the truck and head back home. All right, let's check out this first uh, box here. This guy might have been into like books. Paperwork. I don't know. This one though, this looks pretty good. Dust is insane. I have a mask on actually, because that's just crazy. But let's just check out this first first box here just to see where we're where we're at Texaco truck die cast Texaco truck look at this gold okay we're seeing something gold in here so these are all die cast little model trucks made in the USA, scale models. They're actually look, they feel like real heavy. People do collect these things for sure. And look at this. This is beautiful, actually. I know I'm saying that like as if it would be sarcastic, but the quality of these is just next level. I'm more excited to see what's in the actual bottom of this box though. More, more, more. Little, little die cast helmet. That one's made in China. All right, for the sake of the camera as well, because I'm gonna make some Instagram videos, I put this on the ground. So let's see what we got. Wow. Action figures, still in the packaging. Metal Gear whole box of action figures, pure gold. Hold on, check this out. Wow. Wow! No, we did it! No, we did it! Just score this! This is unreal! Freaking gold! This is gold! This is gold! Alright, just found a whole collection of Nintendo games. Super Nintendo. So the first box, which included that, the die cast, and the action figures, I think it paid for the whole unit. So let's see what else we got. All right, I think the first box may have just like paid for the whole storage unit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna unload all of this into the truck, take it home, and then open it with Sammy too. Hopefully she can see some of it. Just gonna load it up. And if I something like pokes out at me, I'll show you guys, but this is, could be like one of the gnarliest unboxings I've done in a while, if ever. If even half these boxes are as good as the first one, we're in the money. Okay, in this business, sometimes dust is good. 
you know, dust is gold. See this? All that dust, right? It doesn't just collect like that overnight. We all know that. It takes time. So, this unit was sitting, she said, over two years. Two years, they paid. They didn't just put this stuff here, let it get all dusty like this, pay rent every month for two years because they didn't want it. So that's a good indication that there could be some real gold if the dust looks like this. So that's one of the things online. Oh shit, I can't even believe what I just saw in there. Sorry for the cursing, but that looks to me like some Star Wars vintage gold right in there. I'm gonna just bring it to the truck. So these units get wor like worked over time. So, I did not mean to do that, but maybe that's the best choice. So I can take down this off the top. So all together, it's two boxes, two boxes, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 17 boxes, I believe. 17 boxes. For 250. Whew. Gnarly look. Hess trucks. And other collectibles down there. I'm not a big fan of the Hess trucks. I don't really think I actually have some from when I was a kid. Because my grandfather used to get them for us. But I don't think that they're cool. They are cool. But I don't think they're worth that much. Maybe like five, eight, ten, twelve dollars each some that are worth like 50 but they really in reality they're about cheaper than they were when they first came out for the most part they ain't kidding heavy these are heavy these ones because they're boxes of books so this says like jacket that's not true oh maybe there's a jacket in the bottom I don't think that what it says on top is really what it is in the bottom, in the case. Dishes, glasses, kitchen. But it's not actually. It's more collectibles. So. Gold. Freaking gold. We just scored absolute freaking gold, people. Check this out. This is dust everywhere. Look at this. Crust oleo. I need real masks now. This works all right because, like, the dust isn't going to go through here. But I need like a mask under a mask. It's that crazy. I was going to say, too, like, if you like what you do, it's always going to be easier to make it in this world in the way that the world is. So, if you can find something that you enjoy, like how I enjoy this. Of course, it's hard work. I mean, I'm out of breath like lifting all this stuff, getting up and down in the truck, drive it there, drive it back, unload it, take it out, post it, whatever. But it's fun. So it's not that terrible. It's not like a job that I hate. All right, everything's loaded in the truck. Let's go home. Let's get it. Let's go after it. Actually, really what I wanted to do I'm gonna cover this over and I'm gonna ride the electric skateboard through here. I always want, I just wanted to do it, so I'm gonna do it. store a lot of stuff back here look at that that old car Mercedes diesel
crazy. The lady that I was talking to that works here, they're building condos back in between basically the storage facility. You can see it through the woods. And she said they started like a year ago and they're already, they already built like 300 units. They're not done yet, but it's, it's crazy how fast stuff goes up around here. Well, really anywhere, I guess, but that was like the whole roof joists on that truck. So they're going in. All right, we're starting off spring with a bang. Look how nice it is. Check this girl out. She's got her whole setup going and lucky girl too. So we got this out of a, from the pallet auction, this rug, but nobody really seemed to want it on Facebook. So now we're just using it. Using it for the bean. Bean loves it. She I likes put her it. in the shade. I might bring her back out in the sun for like a tiny bit, but she likes it. Should we test out this first box? Yeah, yeah. I got the gold, mama. You're not gonna believe it's real. Let's see this. All right, this box right here, this big box is maybe the best gold we got. I saw a little peak of the top and that's all. I didn't even open the rest, <laughs> but check this out. No way. You'd never believe it's real. Are you kidding? No, I'm being dead serious. What is Look it? at this. Pure freaking gold. I don't gold. like that dust. This is like, did Comic-Con No was way. Real? Did you know those are in there? No, just this one I saw on the top. Wow! No! Look at this gold! No! Look Wait, at this! What? Look at this gold! No, no way! No! Babe! Look at this! Oh man! Yeah, got them. Look oh at this! Oh my god! Gold Final Fantasy? We gotta get No! No! <laughs> no! We just scored! Score! <laughs> know, it's so crusty. This though. is like a nerd's dream. This is my dream, so I guess I'm the nerd. <laughs> this, though. Wow. Honestly, I'm not even gonna act like I know what any of this is because I was never really a Star Wars Dude, fan. Dude, the Bacardi? Go! I just shouldn't have dropped it like that, but I got excited. I know this guy. Bro. I don't remember his name, but gold. Go upster. I know that this is gold though. This is money. This is absolute freaking money. Wow. This was an actual score. This was the best. <laughs> this was the that? best storage unit I ever got in New Jersey. No, yeah, for sure. In the boxes too. Mm. You gonna make a claim for this? Who? I think Ink loves this kind of stuff. This might be too gold to even uh, like to just sell it as a whole lot to someone maybe. Yeah. Just like bam. This is. You know. I was just taking them out to show them. These are all the weapons. And to, you know, air them off because I don't know how it looks on film, but wow, is this shit dusty. Yeah. Like, look at that crud. <laughs> wow, the Final Fantasy. Stop. What is that? I don't have any idea. <laughs> it looks crazy, though, I never, right? I never saw or played the Final Fantasy myself. That guy's got a wild looking. This looks serious. Yeah, these are, these are all die casted supercars that look at this the lambie the lambo we're gonna need another Maserati. table should we get bob's table and bring it over here yeah all right because there's one here. more big thing of gold this is why it's hard for mama to you know because you're paying too much attention to this stuff yeah 
She was like, I'm better than the Star Wars figures. Oh, you're so much better, and I know you. I know you. What's crazy is, like, we were never huge Star Wars fans, but we Ben had got this exact one of these when we were kids. And we used to play with this thing all the time because we would use it with the other action figures. This one is from 1998. This has to be the same one, yeah. That would make sense. 1998? Yeah. So, we were seven years old, and he was nine. So, yeah, that makes sense. This is actually stacked, right? The land speeder. We got the power of the force. That's a newer one. And then we got... The Ferrari 360. All right, we got a lot of books, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, they're not going to be super valuable, but not all is lost. Some of these could be worth selling for sure. And then there's like this like stamp collection right here. Stamps of Turkey, I guess. Encyclopedia. I don't know. The books. Here's some of the books. So, I don't know if people actually like this kind of stuff. But this was $125 to buy. It's an atlas of the whole world. Maybe. Or maybe for a yard sale item. Atlas of North America's parks. So when this guy had, this came from Brigantine, his library set up, he had a serious freaking library. Like look at these fossil books. And this one's about the universe. Crazy. Should we do more, more of the gold? Yes. For real, right? Yes. Is that why you came back out? No, it just took me that long to uh, put her down for a nap. <laughs> she ain't sleeping in there. What? I would fed her. At least I tried to. She was over it. And she I, she crawled right out of that thing. Like, Finn can fully crawl. If she doesn't crawl, it's just because she doesn't feel like it at the moment. But, like, she crawling all over her bedroom. But, obviously, she's only seven months or so old so like I can't just like leave her crawling around I feel bad I can't wait until she can like just walk around and hang that's true but yeah I don't know if it's the dust or allergies because it's so nice out but like I keep sneezing it could easily be the dust that was on these that's why I threw out all the boxes I'm gonna have to go get boxes out of the dumpster or something at least they won't be dusty though right yeah I'm gonna hold this. Yeah. This has like, this is so gold it has like a box, a box within a box. So that it didn't fall through, maybe? No, I'm just thinking like there's actual better stuff in the box. Oh, the there's box. an actual box in there. Yeah, or it could be worse. We're gonna get to it though. Why is it so heavy? What could this guy possibly have in here that makes it so heavy? <laughs> Diablo game. That doesn't, I tried to sell one of those before. That was basically a waste of my time. Okay. Playing cards. More games. PC. That's a Star Wars guy. This is just like PC games. That's terrible. I got hyped up for nothing. I mean, that's a deep box. That's a deep box. She's not wrong. But it got moldy in the bottom, I think. Ew. What is this? Another die cast truck. <laughs> Why do they have this? <laughs> what I, don't, all these? I don't know. I can understand if you worked for Seneca and you had like two of these in your house. But imagine having like 
that that he just sit in boxes. I honestly, I have no idea, no clue. Should we get to the good? Stuff? Why somebody would want or need all of these? I have like anxiety right now because she's been sleeping in her little pumpercilla. I don't put her down personally. I don't put her down in her crib because in my head it's like ooh. Are you supposed to try to get further back here? In my head I just don't I don't I don't know. I feel like the only time she should be in her like bed is when she's actually going to sleep for the night for now as like a baby because it gets her used to a routine, even though lately she hasn't really been having any type of routine. From the seventh month regression, but it's cool. It's cool, we're living it. But I might actually go check on her. We're gonna, I'll, sh I'll show you guys. We'll reconvene in a minute. Yeah, we'll reconvene. Cause I gotta figure this out. All right. Ooh. I hate having masks on. Luxster, are you enjoying this rug? Maybe we could just keep this out here for you. Mm -hmm. Hi, mamas. Yeah, she's a good girl. lucky has been coming inside too. Like at night, when we're watching our shows, she comes in and cuddles. Look at this. What is this? Just like all these toys. Like Ninja Turtles, Earthworm Jim. Do you remember that dude? I have no idea Earthworm Jim. Really? Ninja Turtles, the OG ones? I'm already, I'm seeing pure gold in here. This thing is packed up. G.I. Joe truck. Wow. Alright, this is getting out of control. Look at this. Vintage little tin police car. Check this out. The dirtiest box in the whole thing. Oh man. What? I thought this was a pair of shoes at first because it said Nike on there. This little it? like, like a strawberry little like collectible thing, I don't know. Open them? It's called Divan Pasta Hanna That sounds creepy. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what that is. This might just be like a bunch of trash really. Yeah, so this was the stuffed animals, I guess. Should we see what they are? Wow. The Ninja Turtle one, though. So old. That is so old school. It's so cool. Oven and the chipmunks. Is that what this is? No. no that's, that's, that's from the rescuers. Yeah. There's still toys in here though. Oh my gosh. What? You know what that is? Is that Ren and Stimpy? That that's one? the turtles. Uh, yeah, that is Ren and Stimpy. Oh my gosh. I remember this thing too. Yeah, this is, this is the Technodrone. It's the Technodrone. 
or at least part of it. What is that? That's what that brain thing, Krang, would ride around in this <laughs> with uh, his squad, and then he would just be like in the earth, or like in Dimension X, they called it. This is from the rescuers, too. And then they would come and try and get the Turtsies. Wow. Somebody might want the stuffed animals, though. Definitely at the yard sale, they might. Matchbox clean. Okay. Look at this stretchy guy. I feel like I had one of those guys. Yeah, probably, right? I feel like I had something like that, too. I don't know. That's pretty much it, right? What's that underneath? Oh, it's just an arm. That's the other boy. This is just like the more guy. toys. More toys. Little CB radio. Don't know why that's in there, but I remember something like this from back in the day, too. Hmm. Gold. You can just like mess with people and like grab something from them or like hand me like a sandwich with that. I wonder if I can hold the GoPro thing. Oh my god, I can. Doesn't that look strange? Yeah. <laughs> So. Arms are too fat to put like the actual shield. Yeah. Don't want it to fall on my face. Hold it out with the GoPro. Like that. The hand. All right. I thought this was gonna be all books. But it's not. So there's a NASCAR blanket. And then we got stuff wrapped up in here. This looks like a Wells Fargo. Stagecoach. Batman. With the wings. Yeah, all four of them are there. What else we got? Oh, what? More Batmobiles. This is getting crazy. I literally have a pillowcase that matches this. This is why it was so heavy. Got the BMW. What else we got? A little Christmas decoration. Wow. This is stuff in here for days. What is that? Insane. A little shoe. No way. Comic books out the wazoo. And Goosebumps books. They had some serious late 80s through all the 90s claims in all these boxes. This is so cool. This is literally the same time period that I grew up in, basically. Crazy. That's like a foot. Look at that. Little Simpsons, Sunoco. Or Simpson, Sunoco. J Dave Schultz. Little collectible helmet. That's a cool one. Little racing helmet. So here's the deal. We got some turtle stuff. Not good condition. Random pile. These guys. Metal gear. All them. These are the die cast pieces, two of the Sunoco ones. Some G.I. Joe, 1988. Shout out to the 30 year old Grom, G.I. Joe legend. Then we got this stuff organized, the Barago pieces in here, Star Wars. And then all of the Sunoco plastic, or these are like Sunoco Hess trucks, I call them, even though they're not Hess trucks. And this stuff is still be to be determined. There is comics in here. Spawn. Some gold. Just super killer awesome. Eastman and Laird Ninja Turtle comics. Green. What was that? Green Lantern. X-Men. All the classics, really. This is a crazy storage unit. 
profit margin not that high as I thought it was going to be originally when I got excited when I first saw all the collectibles but we'll still be there there's some good stuff in here all right so this is a crazy one each one of these boxes is also a goodie bag a goodie box that's like a copper plate or something tin all right wildlife treasury Bed sheets. More books. All right, so usually at the bottom of here, or even at the top, at the top or bottom, we've been, I've been realizing is not books. So let's see what this one is. Even though it says books, it might be something else. Keep going. Keep it going. All right, I'm seeing a blanket. Classic blanket. Oh wow, that's weird looking. That's just crazy looking. No way. And this crazy looking Ninja Turtle dude. This guy's ripped off his ass. Look at his eyes. That one's got to go. It's all crusty. I could probably just leave these in here. Because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow. Most of these are probably going to have to be trash or donations. Got to open the rest though just in case more books I think it has all the mold on it too like a lot of the books look like that so not something I would even bother trying to sell honestly Life magazine. Two thousand and counting. So this is literally the first day of the new millennium. And this is more toys. So I gotta go through these make sure there's nothing real good and that's pretty much it so that was the storage unit uh if there's any crazy like mind-blowing finds in the rest of the boxes i'll let you guys know but other than that that pretty much wraps it up so all in one day success went there bought it yesterday went there today picked it up went through everything probably make a couple hundred three four hundred off of everything if i sell it and another successful day living the dream so peace out everyone i'll see you in the next video so this storage unit was an absolute throwback to the 90s growing up having all these different i mean i didn't have all these but i remember this series of figures i think we had this guy pretty sure we had spider-man we had some carnage, but not that one, I don't think. I do remember this whole series, though. So this was all 1990s, like 92, 94 Marvel characters. The big ones, too, I remember. We definitely had one of these at some point. We got the Super Nintendo Game Lot, Sky Fo Star Fox, I mean. Zelda Spankies. I'm not really sure about that. I never played this one, but that one seems like it might have a little bit of value. We got the Ninja Turtle spread. They were these are in rough condition. They were used very aggressively. 
See, there's no hands on that guy. Never saw this before. Never saw this before as I never, we never had this or this. Definitely had the Technodrone at one point in time. And possibly this guy. Laughing gas. The door's missing and the stop sign. I remember this guy, that little sewer surfer. We got all these plush pieces, G.I. Joe vehicles. Not sure about this, 20th Century Fox. I don't know what this is, it's not G.I. Joe. Random, random box for the yard sale, I guess. And then the Star Wars stuff, which I think is about to be sold. Yeah, there was a lot of 1990s action figures and toys in this storage unit. Lots of different stuff. Crazy, I'm trying to get everything inside before the rain comes though. Oh yeah, the supercars. I'm about to sell these. Alright, so what I've been doing, I just want to give you guys a flat out truthful way of the way I've been selling stuff, is I've been making lots. So, I basically calculated that some of the games like Zelda is worth about 30 or 40. This one might be 20. Spanky's was actually worth a little bit. So, like, these three games are at least 50, and you gotta figure the rest are 50. Street Fighter 2, that's a good one. So $100 for the lot. I don't like to overestimate by a lot because most of the time stuff's not worth what the hype says it's worth and people are not going to be willing to pay top dollar for items unless you sit around and hold on to them for a long period of time. I like to just blow stuff out to other people that maybe want to sell it again or they want to take some games from here and then sell the rest. Personally, I don't want to play any of these games, so I'm going to sell all of them. I did the same thing with the G.I. Joe lot, same thing with the Ninja Turtles lot, same thing with the Marvel action figure lot. We did the Sunoco trucks, that is a lot, and then I did, now I just can't even think of it because there's so many different ones. So that's what I did. I broke everything up, posted it as lots. And now we'll just sit and wait. We already made our money back off the Star Wars stuff. That sold pretty quickly. And we already are in the profit zone from that one sale. So the rest after that is just all profit. Pretty good for a local storage unit, I'll have to say. It was fun to do. A lot of work, but worth it.